Hello everyone, welcome back to another What Eat In A Week Vegan. So it is now Friday and tonight's dinner is a vegetable balti pie, which is a fray bentos one, which is absolutely beautiful, me and Adam love it. I have some carrots, a couple of sprouts, just eat sprouts out of the freezer, some cabbage and some potatoes, which I've literally destroyed yet again, because I literally put the heat on a bit too much. So I'm going to devour this and I'll see you at puddings. I've got a very exciting pudding tonight. So here is tonight's pudding. I'm trying out the Asda Plant Based Two Golden Syrup Sponge Puddings. Of course, I'm only having one. Before I was vegan, I couldn't eat one of these. Like a full one by myself. So I'm not sure I'm going to be able to eat all this. I've got some vegan Alpro custard as well. I'm looking forward to eating this. Evening, everyone. So I've been rubbish vlogging today of what I've eaten in a day. I'll put in a clip here of what I had at this place called Medicine today at Birmingham. I only had a bagel for breakfast, so it wasn't really that interesting. But this evening we have some friends coming around. So I've done a little bit of a spread. I've got things in the oven at the moment as well. And I have, I'll explain to you what we have. We have two different hummuses. We have red pepper and sweet chili hummus in the middle there. We have M&S vegan cheese sticks. We have some breadsticks. We have some chili crackers. We have squeaky bean, chorizo and salami. Then we have some mixed peppers, some carrots, and then we have some Lotus Biscoffs uh, creamed with some Maryland vegan cookies. Vegan marshmallows to toast on the fire, which is why we have the little bamboo sticks. Some tortilla chips and some vegan sweets. And then a range of different sauces, because I'll show you what we have in the oven in a moment. But we have all these different sauces here. Sweet chilies, that's Iki, Piri ghost pepper, jerk and pineapple, and a barbecue, of course. And then over here, I have set up like a little bit of a bar area. Um, so I've got some random little bits here that I'm just trying to use up, basically. Um, so I have a bottle of Prosecco that I most likely will pop open, some gingerbread mulled wine, some spiced biscuit gin, some amaretto and these little Prosecco toppers and they've got like different flavours and there's glitter as well so that would be cute for us girls. And then I have some toffee vodka that will probably shot. Um, my lovely glasses from Home Bargains, all of these ones and then these were gifted uh, from my brother and sister-in-law. Um, as a housewarming present. Then I have the Skinny Food Co. Pon San Martini. This is beautiful with lemonade. Um, I have a couple of friends bring in some little bits over. Bits there. I need to quickly wash off. But also in the oven, I'll just show you. We have some vegan no chili cheese bites. Let's just show you in the oven. That will just be easier. Um, then we have some Indian inspired strips. Then we have some vegan nuggets from Aldi. All of these are from Aldi apart from those and those. These are the MS mini Kievs, vegan Aldi nuggets, vegan in, uh, Chinese inspired things. And then down here we have some fondue, a vegan cheese fondue, it's paprika and cheese. Um, and then we have these broccoli, sweet potato and cranberry tartlets. Just to use a popcorn in the freezer basically. See, I've got all them bits out and I'll stick them on that tray. And I've got some extra marshmallows here. These are ones that I've got out for the fire pit. And we're going to have a lovely evening. So I'm really excited to have everyone around. I really like this little spread that I've put on. I really like doing this. Um, just having a spread out for people to just, you know, pick out whilst we're like chatting away and things and listening to music. So yeah, we're going to get full on some lovely food and sit outside in the fire pit. So I'll take you along with us because obviously it's going to be full of food. So yeah, hope you enjoy. <laughs> Because it's like, you know, you're gonna get that when you come out for dinner, and I'll bring that. And I actually started doing the same. I tried doing it. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna stick that in. Yay! Yay! Ah! Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Hey, look at me. Yeah. Mini. Mini fire. Cheers, guys. Cheers for the marshmallows. Cheers. Yeet. You can if you want. What's he got in it? <laughs> Has he got some fire? Huh? Bon la bo. Work it hard and make it better, make it faster and make it stronger. Morning, so I had a bagel for breakfast, which obviously isn't that exciting. But I just bought this from MS, which I'm going to try, so that's like part of lunch. So I this is good. It doesn't feel very squishy though. Hello, so it's lunch time and I've made me and Adam a vegan corn wrap with some romaine lettuce, it's rather crispy. 
and we've got some vegan cheese in there. Adam got actual cheese, but I've got vegan cheese. And we toasted it on the grill, and we've got some vegan wraps, of course. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this for our lunch. And I'm also reading this from m s that I got the other day. And there's some really good vegan recipes in here, so I'm going to enjoy reading that whilst eating lunch. Lunch is consumed, and now I'm going to devour these. These are beautiful. And we'll see if you ever see them, get them. Oh. Legendary, love them. One of my favourite chocolate brand. Mm. I'll show you what they look like actually. These little cups with caramel inside, they're delicious. Good morning, everyone. I am up bright and early. It's not early now, but I've been awake since five o'clock. I was reading my book straight away because I didn't want to pick up my phone, and um, you know, when you just don't want to look at a screen straight away. So, breakfast this morning was a vegan croissant that I've just eaten, and now I'm trying to finish off my vanilla yogurt pot, my vegan one. And there's not a lot left, to be fair. So I'm trying to finish it off, you know, like when... Uh, so we don't have any waste. I don't know when the date was. It was on the thing, but I'm pretty sure it's like out of date by a couple of days. But it still looks fine, so I don't want to waste it. Um, and I do have a bagel here that's defrosted whilst I went to Aldi. Done a little food shop. And I'm now going to put a vegan chilli on in the slow cooker with you. But I also wanted to show you these little bits that I picked up from Aldi. I've got these Oggs cakes. Have you guys ever tried them before? I picked them up because they were 79p they were reduced because they ran out of date today. And I see my brother and uh, my sister-in-law is vegan as well. So I'm gonna give them some of them to try. So I've got the chocolate fudge cake ones and the Victoria sponge cake ones as well. So they look quite nice. I wanted to try them for ages, but they're normally like free three pound in the supermarket so i was like 79p out of date today be out right for a couple of days so yeah i'm gonna try them today later on and like i said i'm gonna make my chili i have a big jar of chili con carne medium spice sauce which i picked up the hot one i've got the hot one from aldi the other day but i've got this in the cupboard so i wanted to use that first and i actually got some mints reduced vegan mints in aldi for 30 30 percent off so yeah, it ended up being 89p for this so i thought if it runs out today i normally freeze it anyway because you can literally freeze anything you know, I'm like, I'm gonna shove it all in the slow cooker, leave it on for a few hours and have it for dinner tonight. And I've, I was thinking I could have chili on a jacket potato or with rice or in a wrap or what was the other one? Or in a burrito bowl, that's what I wanted to do so I can like have it in different things throughout the next few days. I'll probably get sick of chili by the end of it, but got a big glass of pineapple juice and I'm gonna be going swimming soon. So I'll show you the cooking and then uh, I'll probably see you at lunchtime. So the chilli is all in the pot. As you can see, it's got the sauce in there, spring onions, one whole red pepper, two whole carrots, and a whole packet of this mince, of course, and a whole jar of sauce. And this is so simple, so easy to make, so easy to throw into the slow cooker, and it's so cheap, especially when you get the mince reduced. So this in total would probably cost like maybe two and a half, two, two, two fifty, three pound maybe. And I'll probably get about four potentially five portions out of this so it's so so cheap to make and i literally love this local curry recently i've been getting it out so much as you would have seen in my videos i love making things in it curries chilies what's i making here i made some else the other day in here but i can't remember oh a casserole and things they, it just looks so colorful and flavorsome and it just tastes absolutely beautiful oh i can't wait to eat this later wow guys i am rubbish at vlogging today so i forgot to vlog my lunch i had the tlc taste like taste like chicken tikka subway um i had it with a tiger bread toasted with vegan cheese and lettuce and sweet chili sauce i'll put a picture up here for you to see um but yeah i've been rubbish at doing that filming when i'm out for lunch um but i'm back home now and the chili is nice and cooked and i'm just about to go to the gym uh, before i eat it when i get back but i'm just going to do a little bit of organizing because look at the big stack of protein things that i need to sort out so I'm going to, uh, I said that a bit weird then. Um, so I'm just going to sort out the cupboard and do that and then um, go to the gym. Evening everyone. So I have the chilli all here. I've got quite a big portion when I look at it now. But whatever I don't eat, I'll put it in a box anyway so it's not wasted. So I have some tortilla chips that I got from m and the other day just to eat them up. So that is dinner with a raspberry mojito protein shake. And I have some Oggs to try for dinner. Dinner pudding. And some new cookies that I bought from m as well. So this is a very, very nice high protein dinner. And I love it. I'm going to dig right in. Hi, this is the pudding. As Adam said it there, this is pudding. We've got them two Oggs cakes. We have a vegan Maryland, a vegan gingerbread. It's, that's not gingerbread. A vegan ginger biscuit. And then an m and cherry bake well. 
biscuit as well. So I'm going to get these on my belly. And I have a vegan hot chocolate and my protein drink to finish off. Good morning, everyone. So it's now breakfast time. And today I'm going to try out one of my, my vegan, vegan protein blends. And it's a blueberry and cinnamon flavor. So I have a little tub of blueberries to use up. And I'm going to be using the cocoa super coconut milk today instead. So this is my baked oats that I have on my channel already. I'll leave it linked in the eye if you want to see the full on like version of this. But I'm going to explain it here as well. So it saves you do, uh, doing that anyway. But if you want to see like a quick video, then you can go and have a look at that of how I make it. But I'm going to tell you here what I use in it. So I use 75 mils of plant milk. I have this sachet here, which is 30 grams. Oh, I need my oats as well. And I have some butterscotch syrup, no sugar in there. Got some sprinkles. I'm going to use a quarter of a teaspoon of what? Of baking powder and some biscoff spread and half a banana. So I'm going to put 20 to 30 grams of oats in here. Um, mix it all up, mash up the banana as well inside of it. And then I'm gonna put some blueberries inside this time as well. And uh, and then I'll show you when it's ready. But yeah, if you wanna see the full recipe of how I actually make it, I'll leave it in the eye for you, but that is basically all I use. But you can see how I make it in my little shorts video. And it's also on my TikTok and my Instagram as well. Hi everyone, a little while later. I have a fresh face, fresh hair. Feeling good because I had a nice self-care morning this morning and had a nice shower. I was so fresh that I left it to naturally dry this morning and it's a little bit wet now actually. But I'm just snacking on a M&S. Oh, I fall backwards. M&S, two flavoured twist. Vegan one from their plant range. Really nice actually. And I've just been eating some apple that I've been cutting off. As I've made my fruit box for work, took some cacao nibs on the top of some Biscoff spread. So I really liking that at the minute, like dipping my apples into Biscoff spread. Really nice. I'm just going to cut up a carrot stick to have with hummus for work tomorrow as well. Because it is uh, that time again. I'm packing and making my lunch for work. It's difficult to do a vlog and shut this box. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I'd just update you on what I ate. And um, also I really forgot to show you what I had for breakfast. <laughs> I feel like I'm forgetting that I'm vlogging. It's really annoying. So I made them blueberry and cinnamon oats, baked uh, protein oats this morning. They were really nice. I ate the whole bowl. I don't normally eat the whole bowl. I normally leave like at least a quarter because my appetite is sometimes like few and far between. Because it's like that time of the month and when it's that time of the month, girls, you feel me right? I, I don't have as big as, of an appetite, but this morning I ate that whole little dish of oats and a protein smoothie. And it, it was, it filled me up. I ate the whole thing and I don't normally. So yeah, I thought I'd show you what I'm having for lunch tomorrow seeing this today's the last day we vlog taking my clear vegan protein raspberry mojito with me to have at work i have some cherry baked wild granola some crackers and um, tortilla chips to go with my chili and rice that i've got for lunch got some biscuits in the corner there they to take in for some work friends because i can't really eat them we've got them lying in the house we don't want to have any rubbish um, and then i have some cereal in a box and i have a baked protein cookie i have some lentil curls in there and then these are them twists that i'm eating now and then in the fridge we of course have got the fruit box and we're gonna have carrot sticks with my hummus leftover hummus and my smoothie tomorrow i'm just gonna shove this in here and i'll show you it so this is lunch for tomorrow i've got a smoothie that i made this morning because it makes like three box of boxes so I was looking at the box. Um, three jars, and I have this apricot yogurt here, and then I have some vegan Kabanowski. Honestly, if you're pol if you're Polish watching this and you like Kabanowski and you want to go vegan, there's a vegan one in Tesco, and it's beautiful. I honestly love Kabanowski. I'm not Polish, but I love Polish food. It's so so good. Um, this is my chili and rice, and then I have a Nomo chocolate bar there, and that is. Me ready for work, just got to cut my carrot sticks now. It's a little update, I'm about to make a chocolate protein loaf. It's the same recipe as the one on my Instagram, which is the toffee apple loaf, but I'm just switching the recipe up a little bit. So I'm adding in some chocolate and some vanilla protein. I've just used up the whole of this that I had left, and it was like that much left in it. So that's all now used up. Um, if you guys want to get a discount off my vegan, I do have a code, which is Idwell Celine. I'll get you 37% off of their website. And these toffee drops are beautiful, um, as well as the protein. Soy so, yeah, soy protein isolate is really good for baking with. Um, but yeah, the current mess on the floor. As you can see, literally, my protein in our house, like, it's everywhere. 
the My Vegan range. <laughs> we love it. Especially Adam, he loves all their stuff as well. Like, I'm obsessed with the brand. I love it. Especially these new protein brownies. These warmed up in the microwave for 20 seconds, no longer. Beautiful. 13 grams of protein. They have peanut butter one and they have a chai latte and... Uh, what was the other one? Chocolate chip. Really, really nice. And obviously they have these cookies as well. The salted caramel. Um, they have a chocolate chip one. And there's like a filled peanut one. If Adam hasn't already eaten it. This one yet. And they have a double chocolate chip one as well. That's like a chunky chocolate one. But yeah, I'm making this at the moment. I'll show you it when it's going in the oven. Um, but then I'm going to have lunch afterwards. Which is going to be a jack potato with chilli that I made yesterday. So the loaf is ready. I put the chocolate in and made it kind of like a what is it called like a marble cake so i'm hoping that it turns out like that um i kind of thought of it halfway through putting the chocolate in so i'm hoping that it turns out like that but i'm sure it will taste pretty nice so excuse me it's gonna go in the oven now and uh it's gonna go in there for about an hour hour and a half and we'll see how it looks when it comes out so lunch is ready i have a jacket potato with my chili and topped with some vegan cheese and now i have my to-do list to get through i need to go to do some admin things like emails and things like that oh so that's fun uh, but yeah i'm gonna eat this all up and um crack on with my to-do list which is forever <laughs> going on just having a little snack before we go to the gym and i'm craving this so i'm going to eat it i literally love this so much one of my favorite favorite chocolates it's literally like a vegan Milky Way and a Mars bar in one. It's beautiful. And also, whilst we're here, I know it doesn't look that appetising. I know it looks like a turd, but come on. It tastes amazing. I've tasted it already because it's kind of like fell off. But I promise you, it doesn't look how it tastes. Does that make sense? I think so. <laughs> I've just tried a bit. It does taste really, really nice. Beautiful. doesn't look that appetising, but I promise you, it tastes good. Now I'm going to enjoy this. So, dinner time, and I've made some vegan chilli nachos, because I have no tacos, I wanted tacos today, and uh, I, thought get, I thought I'd give this a go instead, because I've got some tortilla chips to uh, finish off, and I finished off the vegan cheese that I had from Aldi, first pack that I got, and I've melted the cheese, um, it's not melted that much, but I didn't want to put it in any longer, because um, I didn't want the tortilla chips to go funny. So, this is dinner quite excited about this and i have a my vegan double dough brownie chocolate orange one for pudding and i have a my vegan protein shake which is the raspberry mojito one and i'm so excited to eat this i wanted to make nachos for dinner for ages but just haven't had any tortilla chips in to make it and i've just forgot about it till now so i'm excited to eat this very very much reminds me of like iguanas again so here I am editing the video literally like this. I had my eyebrows done yesterday. And my hair is literally like this all the time when I'm at home. You know, when you just like, you're not going anywhere, so you just fling your hair up. Um, so I'm editing today. So we're at the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please do give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. I'd love to have you here as part of the family. And I shall see you very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye.